So I'll click the ISO surface details dialog to open up our options for this here. What the ISO surfaces use are the existing contour groups that we've defined. So it defaults to the first contour group, and maybe we don't want to create an ISO surface at salinity, but rather than overwriting uh, the existing contour for salinity we have here, because it's useful on the surface, we can change to the second contour group. Click this details button right here to open up the details dialog, and rather than looking at the latitude, which it's selected by default, let's change it to this variable called siglev, which gives us, uh, which is a range uh, from zero to minus one, it gives us information about the uh, uh, from the surface to the to the seafloor, and it's a clean way to plot uh, plot the bathymetry of our data set. So I'll keep the remaining defaults for that because we're not uh, interested in changing the color map for that. We just want to change the definition for the isosurface using this contour group. So I'll change the draw isosurfaces at two specified values. I'll change this to zero at the surface and minus one to the seafloor. I'll hit close and uh, the reason I'm, I'm doing this is because as I rotate our plot here, with the contour toggled on for the entire zone, it wraps around here and cuts off uh, uh, our view inside the, the fluid volume a little bit. So we can't, uh, can't see what's happening in there. We're only seeing what's happening on the exterior. So if I toggle off these uh, zone layers uh, to clean up the plot and instead use the ISIS surfaces, if I toggle this on here, what this shows is the value at zero and the value at minus one showing the, the surface and the seafloor, but we also get a peek into the fluid volume to see what the bathymetry looks like there. Um, and then we can use this for adding additional derived objects uh, like slices and stream traces uh, to get even more information.